Well, it's one of those years, I think, uh, you know, we lost three real good forwards last year. You guys logged a lot of minutes of ice time with us, Justin Florick, uh, Andrew Chernichin, and Tyler Gron. So, um, and I'm not a guy that really believes in, in putting hard expectations on a team. Certainly, you know, we're going to try to win every game that we, we play in, and we're going to try to win a league championship. That should be, I think, every team's goal. I think that uh, we have some uh, real good attributes. I think if we, I could tell you our team is going to be built from the goal out. We returned the guy, Jared Caro, who was our starting goaltender a year ago. Um, and he took over the starting job a year ago and had a real strong second half. We returned our top seven defensemen from the team a year ago. And then we returned a core of forwards that are, we have a good, solid work ethic and uh, fairly veteran group, uh, but not a lot of, uh, you know, predictable offense or not a lot of guys that have scored a lot. So I would tell you our strength of our team is going to be a defense and in goal and our, and our, our area that we're going to have to grow in is going to be offense. But I like the group of guys we have. They're like our leadership. I like our chemistry. Um, you know, and those are things to me that, you know, at the end of the day determine how good you do. Can you talk about Caro's um, kind of taking that uh, starting job and, and um, you know, what, what makes him so um, effective and do you expect him to, you know, maybe make a jump this year? Well, he's a big kid that is a real good athlete. He's really, um, he's really uh, growing, you know, technique-wise. Uh, Joe Sean, our, one of my assistants, has worked with him for a couple of years now. Joe's a goalie. Uh, goal, our goalie coach, and he's and done a great job with him. You know, Jared's numbers last year, we wound up splitting the bulk of the games last year with Jared and, and Reed Ellingson. But Jared's numbers from about the 1st of November on were, were, and I don't have it exactly in front of you, but I want to tell you he had about a 1.9 goals against and a 93 save percentage, something like that. And he had a significant, you know, significantly winning record versus a losing record, and uh, where Reed struggled over the second half. And I can tell you that, um, you know, he had all American like numbers from November on. And and uh, so he's a guy to me that really has a chance to emerge. I think the last two years we've committed a lot of time. Two years ago we committed a ton of time to Wade up and uh, C.J. Ludwig, two freshmen at defense. And last year we committed a lot of time to Jake Baker and uh, and Mitch Jones. So our defense now, those guys both have, those those two classes have a year and two years under him as well, two seniors, Scott McCauley and, and Kyle Fulmer. So I think Crow's going to play behind a pretty experienced group of defensemen, and that's always a benefit. Well, and, and you know, you talk about seven of your um, defensemen back, McCauley's the captain, and Fulmer was our all-conference second team member. What do those guys, uh, you know, bring to that core group? Well, they're both they're both guys again that have been here over four years. They they know what I expect. They know, you know, the values that, that we have in the program. They know, you know, what it takes to be a hockey player here, and, and the things that are important to us. And you know, beyond that, as players, those guys are both guys that have real good ability to rush a puck. Kyle Fulmer, is, is, in my opinion, has been really one of the unsung offensive guys in, in the CCHA until this year. Uh, you know, he was in the top three or four scoring in defensemen a year ago, I believe. He's one of the top returning point guys at defense this year. Um, they both bring a real ability to move the puck up ice and provide counter offense and, and uh, do some of those things. And then, you know, you talked about losing some firepower up front with those three graduating guys, but you've got senior forward Matt Thurber and uh, Stefan VJ, junior forwards back. VJ had 13 goals and Thurber had 30 points, top guys coming back. So, you know, i got to figure, what do you think about, uh, you know, those two guys making a jump for this year too, stepping in? Yeah, well, we, we hope they can. I mean, I think that, you know, we like our depth at center. You know, those two guys are both centers. Uh, we have a guy that was hurt the second half of last year and didn't really have uh, produced the way he, we'd like uh, Eric Higby behind them. And those three guys are all guys that we look to to, to be able to provide offense. I don't know if we're going to have, you know, you look at Notre Dame and they have, you know, Tynan and Anders Lee, and you look at Alaska and they got Kunick and, and Toronto. I don't know if we have maybe high, high first and first line guys that are going to put up huge numbers, but I think we may have be able to put three lines, second-line caliber lines out there that can all contribute and, 
and chip in offensively. And so I, I like our balance and I like our depth. Certainly those guys along with Reed Seckel uh, and uh, Ryan Doherty, who came on the last 10 or 15 games for us last year, were looking to increase their offensive output. What about any um, freshmen? Uh, I know you're limited sightings, but um, any of those guys look like they make an impact right away? Well, we have, we, you know, we're going to wind up playing probably four new faces up front, uh, five new faces up front. We have a, a kid that set out last year as a was a non-predictor here, a kid named Ryan Ainsley, who who we think is a good young player. Colin Adair, a freshman from Powell River in the BC Junior League. Uh, he's a big, strong kid. Looks like he may get some opportunity on some of the special teams. Uh, Justin Rose, who was one of the leading scorers in Alberta last year, is going to come in and get an opportunity. And then uh, Darren Nowick and uh, Robert Lindoris will also play. So we're going to have five freshman forwards, I think, in our lineup. Um, and they'll all be, because of our losses, they'll be given opportunity to play you know, with some quality guys and in some special situations. And, you know, when that happens, you, you never know where guys are going to finish and how they're going to be able to grow. So I would assume some of these guys are going to impact it. I can't tell you who because I don't know at this point. George Sipple from the Free Press uh, I'd like to know what your favorite CCHA moment is. Oh, God, I, my favorite CCHA moment, certainly as a player, was probably, you know, um, you know, winning winning our first title here back in uh, '79 and '80, and then uh, as a coach, I think my maybe my favorite moment was winning overtime game at um, Michigan State, uh, game three to advance to to the Joe Lewis back uh, several years ago. And Paula Weston from USCHO.com, what does the final season of the CCHA mean to you and your program? I think it's a great league. It's been a great league. It's been a highly competitive league. Um, I think it's it's a shame that it's it's had to that it has to break up. Certainly, there's some emotions there, um, but there's also some excitement as you know as college hockey as it moves forward. This league, right now, in my opinion, is the best league in the country. It's the it's the most competitive league in the country, and from a, from an on ice competitive standpoint, and when when you, know, you look at the record over the last five years of our league nationally, we've certainly proven that, I think. Um, and so you just, it, it's really tough when you've built something like that. And I, I think particularly tough for guys like, you know, Rick Conley and Ron Mason and Steve Cady and guys that have been a big part of building this when they finally see it, in my opinion, become one of the best, if not the best league in the country, certainly one of the best leagues to see it break up. So there's some emotions there, but we're also excited about about moving forward and um and uh you know we'll see how it all goes